welcome to the Center for the Visual Arts. My name is Miss Natalie, and this will be our last um, art project for the weeks. Um, so, our project for this week is we are going to make a lovely little fishbowl out of oil pastels. And you can include a fish, or you can include like a whale, like a miniature whale, or a rubber duck, or a jellyfish, or whatever you would like to. But we'll be focusing on the fishbowl. So, we're going to take out our very last bag in here, which should be labeled page 6, and have a colored piece of paper and some pastels. And there's only two other things you'll need for this. You'll need your pencil and your pencil sharpener if you need it. Excuse me, with our pencil. So, first we are going to draw our fishbowl. Now you can do your fishbowl any shape you want. You can do like a rounded shape like I did, or you can do like a cylinder. You could do a square if you really wanted to, but we're going to try to focus on making it 3D shaped. So it may help to do, just focus on doing like a sphere, but if you feel, if you have the courage and feel confident, you can definitely do a different shape. So I think I'm going to do a, um, a sphere again. And we're going to make sure this kind of covers up um, a lot of the page, because this will be our main focus, we want to make sure that our creature in the fishbowl is, is big and um, has enough area to swim around. So I think I'm going to do little markers, kind of like we did with the watercolor animal faces, to see how big I want it to be. So I left a little, like maybe a quarter of an inch marker um, space between the edge of the paper and my pencil mark, and maybe I'll do a slightly, like maybe one inch gap between my marker and the top. And maybe I'll kind of fit in to see how wide I want my fishbowl to be. I'm kind of leaving maybe an, an inch or an inch and a half between the edge of the page, the edge of the paper from here to my marker right over here. And I'm going to just draw in a circle. And that's okay if it doesn't look totally like a circle. If it's a little funky shaped. Great, cool. I got my circle in, and we kind of want this to be 3D shaped. And I think I'm going to flatten out my circle a little bit on the edges, so I'm going to kind of widen out the bottom and kind of curve it in a bit. Maybe I'll widen out the edges over here too. Kind of rework my shape so it looks a little bit more like a fishbowl. Again, yours does not have to be a, an ordinary fishbowl shape. You can do any shape you want. All right. And then to make this a little bit 3D shaped, we're going to draw an oval from the, on the top right over here. And we're going to kind of make it fit in with our circle a little bit. So we're drawing this really flat cylinder. kind of looks like a, oh, like if you splat an egg or a tomato on the ground, kind of. That, nope, never mind, that, that doesn't work. It's just a very wide, thin egg. And we're going to make sure that the oval attaches with our fishbowl. So this will kind of be like, you know, where you put in your fish food, and you put in the fish to welcome it into its new home. And then right down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a little crescent. It's going to kind of look like a frowny face. And we're going to try to make sure it kind of is the same width of this um, top part so we can measure this part out where we did our flattened um, oval shape. See, that kind of matches. All right. And next is we are going to draw in our water line. So it doesn't have to be a perfect um, oval shape. We can kind of have it, the water dip down and above. And so we drew this one squiggly line right here. And right above it, we're going to draw another squiggly line that kind of makes it attached. So we're going to kind of have this snake shape. And I'm going to draw this with pastel so that that way you can see it. I'm going to draw it with this blue color. Nope, actually this white color. Hopefully you can see that. So here's my first 
squiggly line. This is our water. And then I'm going to draw in another squiggly line right above it. And then I'm going to make this be one whole shape. So I'm going to, at their edges, right near this fishbowl, I'm going to kind of round it out. So it's one whole shape. So that'll be our water. And we're going to do the same thing up here. And you can grab out your white pastel now. And you can, whoops, I already broke mine. And you can emphasize this cylinder shape. Now my pencil marks are probably going to show, so while you're working on this, you can maybe start to erase some of your pencil marks. So now we got this um, flattened egg shape right here, and we have this little worm shape, that's our water. And now we can outline our entire fish bowl in white. Now a lot of fish bowls are made out of glass, so that way you can see the creature living inside of them, the fish bowls. So we're going to start with this white to kind of emphasize this glass te texture and kind of help show our the reflections. And then I'm going to do a little frowny shape near the bottom, right here, a little frowny shape. All right, oh, that kind of looks like looks like eyebrows, and that's the the frowny mouth shape. All right, and then our next step is we are going to add in our highlight right away. We want to get all the lights right out of the way. So just like what we did with our animal faces, the highlights, the uh, most intense area of light. And you can do your highlight over here, or over here, and we're going to kind of make it curved with our outside of our fishbowl shape. So I'm just going to draw a line right down here. I'm going to make it thicker. And you can do any shape you want to. Maybe I have a rounded rectangle right here, and then maybe there's a circle right down here. Because there can be more than one reflection. Alright, and then before we get any further, we're going to draw in our table or wherever our fish is sitting on, fish bowl is sitting on. So I think my fish bowl is going to be sitting on a green table. So right behind it with a green marker, I'm going to draw in a green table. And I'm going to avoid this white part, but I'm going to go in the fish bowl. So if you look at a fishbowl you can and it's made out of glass, you can see what's behind it. Since it's see-through or transparent. There we go. So basically my table is another really, really long frowny face or like a hill sh shape. And I can color this in right away. I'm just gonna do it lightly because I kind of want this green color to show through. I like using color paper for pastels because it's kind of fun to just see that um, vibrant color kind of shine through over underneath the pastels. I think it makes a, it kind of emphasizes a really fun texture of pastels and kind of makes the piece a little more vibrant and colorful and just fun and happy. And I'm not going to color in this entire thing because I just realized I'm going to have to draw in our creature, which I should have thought about sooner. But anyway, so now we're going to draw our creature in the middle. So, and we can, we can rub some of that off. So you can do a fish or you could do a rubber ducky or jellyfish or a turtle or a frog. Ooh, a frog would be very fun. I think I think I'm going to do a jellyfish. That way I can kind of avoid the table. So I think my jellyfish is going to kind of flow in right here. And I honestly do not know what a jellyfish looks like. So my jellyfish is definitely going to look like um, one of the jellyfish from SpongeBob. So I'm going to lightly draw in my jellyfish with my pencil. And I know jellyfish can have those weird dangly bits before the legs. 
Here we go. Okay. I do not know how many light jellyfish have. So now you can get started with drawing in your creature. So I did my jellyfish and I'm going to do it all in white. I know you have very limited colors. So to make pink, I'm going to put this white on right below. And it's okay if you go over top of the squiggly part because this is still the water. This is, that's just the top part of the water. And I'm going to color my entire thing in white. And then over top of that, I'm going to do a little bit of red and then I'm going to do white over top of that again. So we can mix our own colors. Here we go. And I'm going to take my red. I'm going to slightly, lightly go over top. And I'm going to bring out Mr. Sun again and try to think about where the light is hitting in my piece. I think I'm going to have it hitting right up here. So this part of my jellyfish is going to be a lot lighter than it is from this bottom part right here. So maybe I'll leave a little bit of white down here. And if you need to, you can definitely look up a picture of what your creature looks like. References are always a big help in art. See, I'm starting to get a pink, mixing these colors together. Ooh, that's a really nice pink. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to my jellyfish. I'm going to add a little bit of red to my the tail, so that way it's better noticeable. And I'm, I'm doing a little bit of shading to the legs and I'm making sure that it, I'm doing the shading on the bottom part of the legs. So that way you can, the sun kind of hits the top part of the legs and so there's kind of this shadow underneath. Here we go. I'm going to go back in with my red. I think I'm going to add some blue polka dust to my jellyfish. Maybe add some blue to kind of outline this weird squiggly part that I thought would look better. But right now, it doesn't look too great. But sometimes in art, something looks truly horrible before it looks good. <laughs> that happens a lot. So if you ever are feeling very discouraged with your art, just, just keep on trucking. Just keep swimming. And it'll get better. Wait, I'll go on with this blue. I thought this blue was done. Okay. I'm going to add some blue. Should add some green, maybe that... Ooh. Well, actually, the green kind of works because my table's green, and so the green's kind of the, the light from the table hitting the jellyfish. It works. We'll make it work. There we go. There's my jellyfish. Whoops. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take whatever color we made our creature. So maybe you did a turtle, maybe you'll take some green. If you did a fish, you can take some yellow or some red. And we're going to draw the reflected light from the jellyfish on the water. So underneath this white line, we're going to draw in, and you can draw right over top of your jellyfish or whatever creature you decided to do. with a darker color. And you can avoid this reflection right here. 
And then we'll do the same thing right over here underneath this line. Maybe I'll add a little bit of green, make it a little darker in some areas. Here we go. And we're gonna kind of do the same thing with our fish bowl. So I'm going to, right below this part, I'm gonna do a little bit of a darker color. And under this white line, I'll do a darker color. And maybe, I think the kind of goes out a little bit. So the red's gonna kind of cross over this white line to make it a little more 3D shaped. And then maybe down below, I'm gonna start adding in a darker color so you can do whatever color you want. And I'll kind of cross over this white squiggly worm that we made earlier. And we'll leave the white on the outside. And down below here, we can do a shadow. So add a little bit of red underneath the fishbowl. Maybe I'll mix in some blue there. Ooh, that's a fun color. I should draw a shadow for my jellyfish too. All right, and now there's this white line right here, the white, the original white uh, frowny face. And we're going to, right below it, we'll do another outline in the darker color. So you can do red if you want. Let's see, I'm gonna add a couple more different colors into this outline I did. So maybe I'll add a little bit of blue in some areas. I'm gonna go off from this corner and slightly do some blue and just kind of color down a bit. Kind of make that outline a little bit thicker. It looks a little scribbly. Maybe so it's not entirely see-through in, in a way. Maybe I'll avoid this white worm because I want that to be very clear. Maybe I'll go over top of the jellyfish a bit. It didn't really work as well as I thought. Oh well. Maybe I'll do a little over here too. I think I'm going to go back, start coloring in this table now. And just slightly color in these areas. It's okay if you don't color all the background green. Aha! And now we can do the background, so maybe if you want to do a window. I think I'm going to leave this green because I don't want... I think, yeah, I'm going to leave this green because it looks kind of like a wall or a wallpaper. And I don't want to distract my jellyfish too much, and especially since we don't have that many colors. But maybe I take a little bit of shading into this table, so maybe some red. This red and green is very lovely. It makes almost a black color, which is really neat. Here we go. If you want, maybe I'll take a white in here. Ooh, make a lighter color. You can break off your pastels and use the edges if you so choose. Maybe I'll go in here and do the same thing. Oh, that wasn't wasn't what I expected, but okay, I'll handle it. Art is all about trial and error. <laughs> Okay, you know what, I think, hmm, I'm going to add some tiny little polka dots. I promise, I'm almost done. I'm going to add some little stripes. That'll look kind of cool with the glass. I'm going to go in to the fish bowl, just ever so slightly. Sometimes, um, if you look in like a glass or something, the light will kind of bend. 
So like the anything that you see that's not actually in the fishbowl but from the outside, so maybe like oh, a wallpaper or like the background, like the colors and the, the shapes will be kind of warped a bit. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna do a yellow wallpaper. Looks kind of like an ugly wallpaper, but it's very fun to color with pastels. So we're gonna go with it anyway. Oh, it's an aged wallpaper. We've got some green scribbles in there now. It's an antique wallpaper. It's old, it's got some scars. It's not perfect anymore. All right, and so whenever you think you are done, you can definitely finish off and sign your name on the back so that way it is yours forever. Oh, I made another line, goodness, oh well. It's wallpaper. And I really hope you enjoyed the six weeks of Art camp. And if you ever think about it, I would definitely recommend taking classes at the CBA. They're always so much fun, and the building is very, very nice and relaxing. I'm in it right now, and it's very, it's a very happy place. All right. I think we are all done. So here's my fish in a fishbowl. I'm very curious to see what kind types of creatures you decided to live in your fishbowl. But